Sometimes it's hard to tell whether or not a person likes us, especially when our nerves get in the way and we start seeing everything as a sign. Don't worry, here at Psych2Go, we have compiled a short list of five common things to look out for to determine whether or not that person likes you or who you are. Mirroring. Mirroring is synchronized movements we do when we like someone or are with friends or family. Imagine Health, a psychology service website, says that this is called limbic synchrony. And it happens due to the fact that when we used to live in tribes, being in sync with the members of your group was vital for survival. Some of the things that can happen when we are mirroring are copying another's body language or things like speech, tone, vibration, pitch, volume, even using the same words or speech patterns as someone else, copying someone's facial expressions and facial movements when you laugh or yawn, mimicking seated or standing postures and coordinated walking. Mirroring body language is a nonverbal way to show empathy, states Imagine Health. It signals that we are connected to that person in some way. Mirroring happens due to nerve cells in the brain called mirror neurons that unconsciously make you mimic another person's movements when you like or trust them. When friends or family are involved, mirroring takes a slightly different meaning than when you like someone. According to Imagine Health, when it comes to family and friends, mirroring is a sign of comfort and trust. It's a way to better understand others and connect with them. See if you notice people mirroring each other next time you go out. Space. Another type of body language that we need to look out for when liking someone or when we want to know if someone likes us is space. Typically, when we like someone, we tend to move closer to them or face them with as much of our bodies as possible. This happens because we want the other person to know that we're interested in them and we're paying attention. With our full attention on them, we hope that they notice and pay the same attention to us. This can look a few ways, according to science of people. Intimate space zone. Does this person get really intimate with you by entering your intimate space zone? The intimate zone is zero to 18 inches from your face. Leaning. Does this person lean in towards you or do they move away? Leaning is a nonverbal cue of partnership, agreeableness, and camaraderie. Touch. Does this person find subtle ways to touch your arm or hand? We use touch to signal connection. If someone has done this, it may mean that they're interested in or like you. Asking questions. Have you ever wondered why people who like us ask questions? Asking questions opens up communication channels and helps us get to know the other person better. It also lets the other person know that we're interested in them and that we're paying attention to them. Linda Bloom, a licensed clinical social worker, and her husband, Charlie, who has a master's degree in social work, explain in an article for Psychology Today that asking questions invites openness. According to the Blooms, cultivating the art of asking questions of others and ourselves helps us open our potential for learning. By asking questions and being sincere with our emotions, we can enhance our relationships. The Blooms further explain that asking questions is the antidote to mind reading or assuming things about our partner or potential partner by preventing the hardening of the mind due to the arrogance that mind reading or assuming can cause. If you wanna know if someone likes you, become aware of whether or not they're asking questions to get to know you better. Do they listen? Are they focused on you? If you like someone and wanna to get to know them, ask them questions and listen. Eye contact. Eye contact has been found to strengthen relationships and increase attraction between people. If you wanna know whether or not that person likes you, notice if they keep eye contact with you during and outside the conversation. Licensed psychologist, Marty Cooper, head of Cooper Mental Health Counseling, states that a study found that as we make eye contact, oxytocin, the love hormone, is released. But uh, what does this mean? Cooper explains that eye contact leads to engagement Looking into your partner's eyes during conversations is a great way to make them feel heard, show them you care, and express your love. Eye contact also helps build intimacy by helping people connect with others' emotions through their eyes. Cooper says that eye contact is essential for bonding and keeps the attraction alive over time. Now, does that mean that you have to stare at their eyeballs all the time? No. In fact, there are different types of eye contact that Cooper discusses. Both accidental and conscious glances can indicate attraction. Intense eye contact signals a strong bond and attraction. Lingering glances occur between couples during conversations and suggest that they really connect with each other. See if you can catch your person looking at you and try to identify what type of eye contact they're making. It might tell you whether they like you or not. Emotional attentiveness. 
Our emotional needs are a part of who we are that can't be denied. If you wanna know whether or not your person likes you for who you are, notice if they're emotionally attentive to you. Do they pay attention when you're sad or down and offer a helping hand? Do they work to learn and accommodate things like your love language, whether theirs is different from yours or not? Do they take into consideration and respect your emotional needs, such as affection, security, independence, and trust? If they do, then there's a high probability that they like you, not only superficially, but also for who you are. Emotional needs are a big part of ourselves and our relationships that we often need to address in order to stay healthy. A Healthline article states that emotional needs shift, change, and new ones can be discovered over time. Someone who takes the time to learn all of your needs and adapt accordingly is someone who is both interested in you and deeply cares about you. Especially when fulfilling your emotional needs is not the other person's responsibility. Yet, they offer to do it anyways. We hope this has helped you understand what people do when they like someone. Do you think someone likes you and you wanna find out? Try to notice if this person does some of the things on this list and then let us know in the comments. And please share this video with others if you enjoyed it. Until next time, and don't forget, you matter.